I started pole vaulting my senior year in high school. I went to a camp out in Paradise Valley with Todd Lehman and he actually coaches at Paradise Valley Community College. And so I knew him and um, he coached an Olympian um, from Beijing, uh, April Steiner. I was being recruited by a few schools like Pepperdine and North Park University, but they weren't really catching my eye. And so I figured maybe I'd wait a little longer and uh, work with him because he saw potential. I can't remember what started it, but I just remember that I was training like in the weight room and I just remember feeling great and the coach like remarking on how great of like a hard worker I was. I just remember my like walking to school would just become harder. Like getting ready in the morning, I would just have to sit down in order to do my hair and makeup or whatever. So me and my mom, we went to a doctor and um, they didn't quite know what was wrong. November, I was to the point where um, walking to school, I would drive to school and um, have to drive with my leg up. I'd often park in the parking lot and um, I would have to maybe walk five feet and then I had to crouch down and stop to take a breather. For one class, I had 15 minutes to go from one side of campus to the other. And sometimes I'd uh, call my mom to come drive me. She'd come from home and come drive just to get me so I could get there on time. I started losing weight dramatically. Um, by December, I was probably about 93 pounds. And throughout my whole experience with the doctors before, a lot thought I was anorexic. Um, they kind of just gave up on me. I remember the doctor just walking in and he looked at me and he was like, you have Addison's? And I was like, oh, okay, where were you the whole time? Apparently I had all the symptoms of Addison's, but it's so rare that a lot of people don't recognize it, a lot of doctors, because they're not knowledgeable about it. It's not the easiest thing to manage with and a lot of doctors kind of just, they recommend don't do any like hard, hard physical activity, but I kind of told them, I was like, it's gonna happen, so just help me out. Once coaches found out that I had Addison's disease, they kind of just dropped me. I remember March was when I got the call from JT, and he was like, hey, I'm from FPU, and I was like, where's that? <laughs> and so he kind of told me what was going on, and um, I made sure right away um, to tell him that I had Addison's disease. I just remember one comment that JT said that just kind of grabbed me was the fact that he wanted me because of what I went through and not essentially what I, like my past athletic accomplishments. I knew then that was the school because I knew he would take care of me, no, not just as an athlete, but as a person too. When I first came here, I could barely run a hundred meters just fine. And I just remember like having to work with like my shakiness uh, and just feeling fatigue. I had a little calendar where I would tell them <clears throat> how I felt that day and what we did. And so we kind of worked to a point where um, he wanted me to be on the edge of a cliff. That was his metaphor. And, but not falling off. <laughs> Last year, we started working on triple jump um, because I used to be a great hurdler in high school, and that was where my love was. But because I couldn't run 100 meters, um, my first year at FPU, we started just working with the jumps, and JT saw potential in that. And I so happened, just happened to slide into the 14th position to go to nationals uh, for indoors. I just remember checking the stats the whole weekend, trying to make sure I was like, am I in, am I not? And um, and then I get a text from JT saying, congrats, you're going, you got a ticket. And I was like, sweet, finally. I just remember uh, JT saying, you made it to finals. And I was like, what, really? And so I kind of like, oh, okay. And so I kind of ran and like did a little dance, you know, outdoors. I was like, maybe I can sneak in again, you know, maybe. Conference was a pretty good meet. Uh, I was able to PR in all my events and um, I happened to get the mark that I needed for outdoor nationals. I didn't just sneak in that time, it was actually I got the mark that I needed and it kind of showed me that I was coming back. Um, Addison's was no longer controlling my life. When I'm at nationals I get, not emotional, but like it hits me that like, you know, what I've been through and all that, like it's totally worth it. 
I would go through the six months again um, in a heartbeat. There's so much I've learned about myself and about the people around me and about my own spirituality as well. I never made my religion my own. And I remember being in the hospital bed and when the doctors didn't really know what was wrong, I like prayed and I was like, God, um, can you just get me through this? And I just remember feeling just a sense of calm and peace. When I went to FPU, I didn't really know how my faith was going to be made my own still. And being with my team, they have helped me through that especially. They have helped me just be strong and they have been there for me. I've Growing up, I've never had a team that has been there for me. I know that no matter what's going to happen, my next stage in life, that they will be there for me.